Hey, it's Troy. Um, you see, I'm look pretty red because it's hot out today. I'm here on the campus of Indiana University, IU, in Bloomington, Indiana, because I am doing the filming locations for Breaking Away, the 1979 hit. There's the bell tower going off. I guess it's on the 15th. Okay, so um, Breaking Away was the 1979 hit starring Dennis Quaid uh, about cycling and uh, what we know here in Indiana is the Little 500, which was a bicycle race participated every year by um, IU students. And um, many of the filming locations are right here on campus and um, some of them are off campus and so I'll be going to those as well but um, right now I am here on uh, at the in at Indiana University in Bloomington Indiana doing the breaking away filming locations okay here is our first location this is um, currently Franklin Hall at Indiana University uh, Franklin Hall is uh, the media school currently um, and um, at the time of the filming it was the administration building let me back up here a little bit they've changed quite a the exterior of the buildings still very similar um, in the shot you can't really see this part of the building over here it's more just that building that you can see and this is where Catherine comes out these doors and gets her bike um, and Dave is sitting on a grassy uh, just a patch of grass under a tree um, and notice her, her drop her book and that's when he first becomes interested in her so I can tell you a lot of the differences here especially right here this in the movie was a road you can see it's now a sidewalk um, and so Dave would have been sitting somewhere here or just right here in, in the grass um, and looking across at students coming out of that building um, as you can see um, since then IU has shut down the road that ran through here built these which are called the sample gates and are sort of a um, formal entrance to the campus <laughs> and so that's that's um, you can see it's changed quite a bit um, so Dave would have sat here on a hillside or a small patch of grass looking across to see Catherine come out those doors grab her bike um, but then in the process drop a book right over in there and then that's where Dave would have went after her and tried to um, meet her. And that's the clock tower. Okay, this here is the Rosewell House. Um, it, it has been on IU's campus um, since like the 1800s. It was one of the a um, few original buildings and there's a lot of traditions and history here with this particular structure um, and it is a rumored to be a meeting place between the boys dorms and the girls dorms back many years ago when they had separate dorms on separate sides of campus um, this would have been a place they would meet and canoodle and so there's a tradition here that you should kiss your significant other in the Rosewell house. Um, but this from the movie is where Dave gets together with Catherine and tells her he's not from Italy, that he's a, just a local guy. He just lives here in Bloomington and he's what's known as a cutter. So most of the shots you see if here are close up um, there's one from behind this behind this bench over here. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see that's the Rose Well House here on IU's campus. It's right in the main part of campus. Can't be missed if you find the sample gates, which I just showed you in the last shot, and you walk up about 100 yards, you'll see it. Rosewell House. And a fun fact about the fact that um, they were called Cutters. The locals in the movie were called Cutters. Well, apparently, um, they were actually called Stoners. And the writer of the movie and the director of the movie, I believe, I can't remember which one exactly said, we can't call them stoners. So they changed it to cutters. And now historically, um, people are now known here in Bloomington locally as cutters. So you'll see a lot of cutter shirts. There's a lot of references to cutters. Um, and the sun's coming out too. So that's uh, an interesting fact about the movie is they changed stoners to cutters and it changed history. Okay, this here is the Delta Phi Epsilon house. Um, in the movie, this was the Delta 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 house um, that Catherine lived in, um, where Dave followed her to and, and met her, um, and then also serenaded her, um, presumably on the sidewalk right here um, but um, the landscaping has changed a little bit or may not even have been right there in front of the but but Catherine would have been out on that balcony um, while Dave was serenading her so this is the Delta Phi Epsilon house um, or which was Delta 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 in the movie It is summer, um, so I don't think there's many people living in the house during the summer, but I'm still gonna keep my distance and not disturb um, sorority uh, residents. Um, but there it is, the Delta Phi Epsilon house or Delta 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 in the movie. Um, and the balcony that Catherine would have been on when she was serenaded by Dave. Right here, presumably on the sidewalk, right here, next to this tree, um, serenading her up on that balcony. This here is the greenhouse. All right, um, it is actually open to the public. So if you ever on IU's campus, you should stop by and check it out. But in the movie, Dave comes down this road and turns that corner on his bike um, when he's um, trying to catch up with Catherine. The funny thing about that is the sorority house I just showed you back in the last scene um, is only like two blocks from the building where Dave first sees Catherine. And it's in the opposite direction that she rides. So she actually rides away from where she wants to go and makes a circuitous route around campus um but uh, you know it's the movie magic movie magic is they they make it look like that's the path she rides to go home but in all reality that would be a very inefficient way to get to her house because she rode busy street here so it's kind of hard to talk but she rode in the opposite direction of where she lived came around campus and then back down towards her sorority house so this is the greenhouse that you see in that scene where he rides down the road and t turns the corner here we are at the uh, musical art center um, on campus um, and this this statue here um, you see in the background of a couple different scenes you see Dave riding up this hill um, and says something to some of the college students and they yell at him and kind of throw something at him or um, but this is a scene where um, he comes riding up this hill I think he's also following Catherine or trying to catch up to Catherine at this hill um, if I can remember correctly but 
that statue there, the big red um, piece of art is seen in the background as he comes riding up this hill and uh, rides, rides on past. This is uh, the musical art center, which is in the middle part of campus. Um, and so that's, oh, well, here's two bikers now. You can see two bikers now taking the same path that Dave took. This is the dining hall where they filmed um, Breaking Away. Um, and they had the fight in there. And then it's been renovated uh, extremely a lot. Um, so I can't get anywhere near matching up where they filmed it at. Um, but I found they had some Breaking Away a poster and some pictures from the movie here. Um, there's the poster. Here's a shot of them filming at the quarry. The quarry that's been filled in so that people don't go there and jump off the rocks. That's the stadium. And I would have been standing somewhere down in there. And here's some other pictures of the filming. Boy, these are more current um, races with people wearing cutter shirts. But here's some from Breaking Away. And here's another picture of the stadium. Oh, sorry, that's the current stadium. That's not the not the one from the movie. That's the current soccer field where they also run the, the little 5 now. Here I am. I'm in front of uh, Woodburn Hall. But this road is um, where you see the, the cutters. Mike driving his um, Chevelle, I believe, passes the blue Mercedes on campus when they're looking for who drives that blue Mercedes. Um, and it's on this road that they pass each other. And um, the reason it's really easy to find because the um, auditorium is right there at the end of the road. Now the road, I don't know what it, how it was used um, at the time of the filming of the movie, but it's not a highly used road because it dead ends right there at the um, auditorium and the only thing you can do is come back. There's the Eskenazi Art Museum right there as well, um, which is pretty cool at night. Um, and you can see down this road here. Um, but it's facing this direction. Facing this direction towards the auditorium was the camera and saw that the blue Mercedes and the uh, Mike and his car, with the cutters in it, passed and identified each other. So it's here at Woodburn Hall, um, right here in front of the IU Auditorium. Okay, here I am at the Arboretum. Um, which is this nice spot on campus with this uh, is actually a musical instrument. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. Um, but it plays, people call it a bell tower, but it's actually some sort of musical instrument. Um, and you may be wondering, well, I don't remember that from the movie. This uh, was the stadium where they ran Little 500. Uh, it closed in 1980 and was demolished in 1982. Um, and the only thing standing here that's even remotely similar is that building there. That's the Wells Library um, overlooking the Arboretum. Well, that's, um, I'll show you some pictures where that was in the background of shots of Little Five. So all the Little 500 scenes were filmed 
in this area um, because there was a stadium here, which is no longer here. Um, so I'm showing you. It's actually a really nice area. Um, it was hard to believe they could fit a stadium in here. Now, I believe there's some old fencing uh, here. This one says class of 1925. I, would, I want to believe that that's part of the original stadium or maybe in, in, enclose the stadium. There's a pillar over there with a flagpole on top. I'm going to go over there and see if it, uh, if it has any markings and if it, if it was from the original stadium. Um, but there's the Herman B. Wells Library and then this open area would have been a stadium with bleacher seating and a track around it uh, where they would have run Little Five. You can see it's changed significantly from that time. Here's another one of those pillars. Um, and then directly across the street from the Arboretum is the Kelly, IU Kelly School of Business. Um, potentially the most famous graduate of the Kelly School of Business is Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban was actually on campus when they filmed Breaking Away and he was, he was in the crowd but didn't make it into the movie. He said, I read an interview with him where he said his roommate, who was standing right next to him, was in some of the shots, but Mark Cuban never made it in any of the shots. And here we are at the Monroe County Courthouse. This is the courthouse where Dave and Catherine would have gotten married or got their marriage license. They went in that door um, right there to um, get their marriage license. So this is the Monroe County Courthouse. And then there was a couple of scenes, driving scenes filmed around the square here. Um, and I'll show you maybe one of the places that's changed a lot, but was featured quite a bit. But uh, here is the Monroe County Courthouse. Okay, right there, probably doesn't look familiar at all, um, but that caveat emptor, which is now a used bookstore, was the pizza restaurant that the boys would stand, the cutters would stand outside. Um, and there's one scene where the sheriff approaches them from up this way and pulls over there and then walks up to them to talk to them about not hot riding in town and things like that. Uh, the, the, the facade you can see has changed quite a bit. Um, it's now, like I said, a used bookstore and it had these red and these black jagged uh, sign across where Caveat Emptor was, is now was the name of the pizza restaurant and it later became a bar and such but uh, it was in that building right there um, right here on the square see there's other buildings along here um, a popular place here in downtown Bloomington just uh, just a couple blocks from the main campus of IU. Um, but the boys would have been hanging around that caveat emptor. And then there's a few roads around here that they were showed scenes of them walking or driving or riding their bikes, um, which are now, um, a lot of them have been turned, a lot of those streets have been turned into um, biking trails and such. So um, it's changed a lot in some respects down here uh, as you can see and it's directly across the street from the courthouse okay this is where campus cars would have been where Dave's dad worked um, it's no longer here it's no longer there's two businesses here um, you can see there's an empty lot here that's for sale um, so it's hard to match up exactly where it was because the houses beyond here have been torn down and turned into businesses as well so it's hard to match up exactly where campus cars was but this is the address for it 
So it was somewhere along here, probably part of this empty lot, maybe all of this parking lot. Um, and then potentially, if those buildings weren't there when they filmed it, um, there was, so I think um, the lot went up to where the buildings are and then there was a fence and a house behind it. That house has been torn down and it's another business and then these two businesses were built here. Um, so you could see this is where campus cars would have been, but it's uh, no longer here, so it's hard to match up exactly where it is. Well, here it is. Here's Dave's house. Um, this tree's blocking the circular pagoda. I'll go around here where you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Um, had to move out of the way of that car. So there's the Dave's house. Um, you can see the trees have grown up a lot. Um, looks like they're doing some concrete work actually in there right now of some sort. Um, um, but that's that's the house they use for the exterior of Dave's house. Um, the, oh, he's doing, I see him right there in the front doing the, doing the stone work on the um, lattice, it looks like, on the railing. Walked up the street just a little bit, just so I can show you a little bit of a different angle so you can see the circular um, point at the at the front right of the porch and then the, the color is a little bit different, but it looks pretty similar. Now, I don't think the interiors were filmed. In, I'm pretty sure the interiors were not filmed inside of the house, but the exteriors were. Um, Dave's house breaking away. This here is one of the more interesting filming locations. This is the factory where he came and met his dad um, and they talked about um, the importance of being a cutter and, and such. Um, and that I believe would have been around here over on the side. This is private property, so I don't want to go too far in, um, but would have been down this road a little bit. The side of the building is over there. Um, I'll come back here a little bit and see what we can see. These are all limestone blocks. There, that, that door back there would have been like the loading area where they were hanging out. Um, but you can see this is not used as a factory anymore. Next door to it, part of it is used as an event center now, a wedding and event center. Um, this factory still stays here and you can rent it for events and stuff. Um, I know some people come here and take photographs. You can see there's some graffiti on it. It's really interesting. Um, somebody's made this into some artwork. You can look back in here. We got Bloomington up there. Little pillars. Still some uh, heavy machinery up there. They fire an old fire truck. This is just, uh, like I said, one of the more interesting locations, not because of, just because of what uh, what it is now. Uh, looks like they got some frisbee golf up there. I don't know who's playing frisbee golf up there, but apparently somebody is. And it's the old factory here. And this is a cool thing, even though um, not too much of the movie was filmed in here. You can still see it's a pretty cool lo abandoned factory location. Um, you know, with the Bloomington. So I um, didn't take you to Moocher's house. Didn't take you to um, Moocher's house is torn down, and it, and the area around it is entirely unrecognizable. Um, 
and um, the quarry. I'm not going to go out to the quarry. It's, um, you have to take a path on private property to get up there, to get to it. And uh, once you get to it, uh, it's filled in. They filled it in because too many people were going out there and jumping and hurting or injuring or even killing themselves. Uh, um, and so they shut down, or they filled in the quarry to prevent people from going out there to swim. Um, so I'm not going to take you out there because it will be a, a lot of time spent for no reason. But I wanted to show you the factory here. Um, the side of the factory over here where Dave pulls up in his car. And they have still some of the support beams. I'm guessing the factory building might have went farther up a little bit. Um, but uh, now they just use those support beams. And then that building is another part of the factory that's been converted into a wedding and event center. Um, which I know a lot of people use. So those are the filming locations. Not breaking way related, but I thought this was unusual. A staircase that leads into a wall. I'm sure they just, uh, when they renovated the building, they decided they didn't need this staircase. Um, but I was looking for a quiet place to, in the shade to film my closing. And, um, decided right here next to these false this non-finished steps uh, in the shade would be a nice place to do that i hope you enjoyed the breaking away filming locations i enjoyed doing it um, 1979 hit very popular here in bloomington um, very popular around the country um, I mean, I did some of the lesser known locations where he just passed by on a bike or something, um, especially if they're no longer still there. I didn't do them, but I picked up several of the on campus and off campus locations. I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, and I hope you will like and subscribe.